Majd in Syria. Uh, we don't get many letters from people in Syria, so welcome, my friend. He writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, I have an old amplifier, a Kenwood DG55. I had a Kenwood. That was my favorite integrated amplifier for so many years. And it has a built-in DAC with an analog and optical input. And on the front, it has three lights that show the frequency, uh, 32, 44, 1, and 48 kilohertz. And I have a high-res audio, I have a high-res audio file on my laptop up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bits. I'm using FUBAR 2000, and I want to stream these files to the amp using a DAC with a USB output. That supports those formats. Uh, can I pass the amp's built-in DAC, or will I have always be limited by the DAC and the amp? Ah, okay, I got it. Uh, no, uh, no worries, my friend. You can, let me just organize my page here. You can absolutely bypass the DAC, and you should. I mean, because the one in the Kenwood, yeah, its days are long gone, long gone. So you have an external USB DAC, it's hooked up to your laptop. You're using FUBAR, which is great. That's a free program, and life's good. Just take the output of that DAC, put it into an aux input, make sure it's not the phono, into an auxiliary analog input, and life will be good. Now, if your old Kenwood is like my old Kenwood, you might have a pair of jacks on the back with some jumpers or with a switch and that is preamp in, um, uh, sorry, preamp out and amplifier in. So some of those older ones, you were able to pop that out and go directly into the amplifier of the integrated. Now, if that's the case, and if your modern USB DAC is like one of our DACs or something that has a zero loss volume control on the DAC, you could take the output of the DAC its analog output and go directly into the power amp inputs of that Kenwood and life should be pretty darn good. Okay? Thanks for writing all the way from Syria and be safe out there. Okay. Bye.